it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorial and in this short video I'm going to take you on a very quick tour of the Inkscape window. Obviously I'm assuming that you've downloaded Inkscape for either Mac or Windows OK following our previous video tutorial. On the top here you can see three rows of icons. The top one is known as the menu bar, underneath that is the command bar and under that one is the tool control bar. And in fact if you hover like any other program really over the icons it will give you the name of, and the function of what that icon does. But in actual fact those three toolbars mainly modify the images that you create. And how you create the images is using the tools on the toolbar which lies down the left hand side here. So those are the main instructions there. Along the bottom you've got the colour palette which you can move through the colour spectrum by scrolling across. You can also access that using this button here which is called the fill and stroke. Well, we've got nothing actually on the desktop so there's no colour palette in there at the moment. Other tools we will be using include the magnifying glass here. If you click on that, here's the toolbar command that will be zooming out or zooming in. The text tool, which is this letter A here. And uh, once we've typed text, then we can modify the font style over here, the font family tool. And a couple of other really important uh, commands really. Control Z that edits the last action or you can go up to the menu bar here menu and undo oops see that's the short code there control Z okay now if your setup looks slightly different to mine and it might do well there's a couple things you can change I'm using a 15 15 inch laptop and I've had to modify mine slightly but if yours looks very different go into view and down the bottom here you've got four options wide, custom, default and full screen and in essence that will depend on the size of your monitor and um, for example over here I've got a control bar uh, which is lying to the right here as opposed to underneath. Um, another thing you can do to change and I have done this as well is to modify the size of the tool icons here and to do that you go up to this uh, menu command here, edit global inkscape preferences, if you click on that and then look for the interface tool which is there and then you can see here you've got the various options for toolbox icon size, control bar icon size. Uh, I've got that on large, in fact maybe I'll uh, change that to small I certainly got the toolbox icon size um, on because if I have it as um, large then the height of the uh, monitor isn't large enough so I have to sort of have a, a drop down menu there which I don't want. So you will have to close and then reopen Inkscape for that to be reset. But that's in essence all we're going to go through at the moment. Uh, Davina will take you through uh, some of the tools in more specific detail as we uh, start to put together an image. So that's all for now and I'll see you in the next video. If you do have any questions at all or comments you can come visit us on our Facebook page. You can find us on the URL which I'm putting on the screen now or you can email us sisters at usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com. That's all for this video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.